Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good evening. How are you, everyone? How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Uh, hello, Walter. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Marta. Hello, Joanna. Hello, Carlos. How are you all? Doing great, teacher. Oh, okay, nice. How are you, Oscar? How was your nice job? Thank I'm you. good. Nice, good. nice. Yeah, now I'm, I'm okay. The dinner. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, good, good. So, well, long time to see you, Wilmer. I know you got your certificate, but uh, you need to be here. Hi, good evening. Ah, yeah. I've been watching you, uh, Wilmer. Okay. Uh, uh, teacher, I got my certificate. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. This Wilmer minute. said, no, Wilmer said, okay, I already have my certificate, so I don't need to go. I don't need to go to classes tonight. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, well, certificate me before time. <laughs> okay, well, uh, uh, hello, welcome Reina, welcome Eric. Okay, y antes que comencemos, por los que no han terminado la sección 5, tienen entre hoy y mañana para trabajar en el examen final, así que no se les vaya a olvidar, por favor, si ustedes han estado trabajando en todas las secciones y les falta el examen final, pues es tiempo de que entre hoy y mañana, verdad, hasta mañana tienen, pero si lo pueden hacer hoy sería muchísimo que mejor, ok. No se les olvide tomar el examen porque es parte de su nota para poder, que, para poder seguir en el otro nivel. Que si no me equivoco, comenzaría el día lunes. ¿O estoy equivocado? And you continue with us. Um, no sé, no me han informado nada. Yo supongo de que sí. I suppose, um, I mean, I'm guessing that I'm going to continue working with you all. But I'm not sure. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I haven't been told yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. But no worries. No worries. All the teacher, all the English teachers that are, who are working at English Corporativos, they are very, uh, very prepared people so that they can teach. Okay. So no worries. If it is me or if it is somebody else, it's the same thing. Okay. Okay. All right, so welcome everyone. It's good to see you, Borja. It's long to, it was, I don't remember, I guess it was last year when you attended the last class. I guess it was last year because I haven't seen you in a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> welcome, Reina. Welcome, Reina. Welcome, Eric. Uh, welcome, Joanna, Carlo, Oscar, Walter, Marta, and Maria Correa. Okay, it's good to see you all. And we are ready to. Um, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Sure. Good evening. Okay, it's very um, good to see everyone here. Hello, Carla. Um, all right, so today... Hello. Hello, hello. Um, as you know, today we are going to continue um, um, talking about future, the future, remember? Mm -hmm. The future. Yes. So the past two days, uh, we have talked about the future with going to the future with will and today we are going to talk about the future but with what with uh present continuous and simple present okay 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 all right all right let me share my screen okay so the topic for today is what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? Okay, this is the agenda, uh, introduction, review, previous learning. We're gonna have a warm up activity. We're gonna use, we're gonna be working or studying the future with simple present and present continuous. And then we're gonna have a practice, okay? All right, the introduction. A student will be able to learn how to use simple present and present continuous to talk about the future, okay? So uh, probably you already know, you already know the difference, you know how to use it, you know when to use it, you know when not to use it, 
but that's okay because today we are going to reinforce okay we are going to reinforce uh, what we have uh, what you know and practicing and working on some exercises okay okay review previews learning okay when do we use will i have a question when do we use will algún voluntario que me diga when do we use will yes wilmer well um you can use will when you want to express um, some action in the future um things uh, a partir is como ¿Cómo se dice a partir? How do you say a partir? Since, since, since. Mm -hmm. Since, since tomorrow ahead. Okay, since tomorrow ahead or since today on. Today on or on. since tomorrow on. Okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, uh, Wilmer. Uh, Carlos says in the chat, when we make a rapid decision. Okay, yes. We use will when we make a rapid decision. Okay? Okay, um, next, next, let me see, next, 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 next. Mention three sentences with will. Okay, go to the chat please now and type three sentences with will. Mm -hmm. Hey, let me see. Uh, let me see your sentences. We will. She will dance with me at the party. I will learn English very fast. I will try to Guatemala tomorrow. I will buy a car. Okay, good. I will pay attention in the English class. Good. I will be at your house tomorrow. Good. I will go to Concepcion de Taco tomorrow. I will bake a pudding next week. Good. I will travel to Mexico. Good. Thank you. All right. So I can see that you know how to use will for rapid decision or also, remember, when we use will, we use will, especially when we are offering help, right? When we are providing help. When we have a prediction, good, Walter. When we have a prediction about something, okay? When we make suggestions, okay? All right? And when we make a promise, and also when we threat somebody, when they say, hey, I'm going to kill you, see? That, or I will kill you. I will kill you. That's not true. It's just a threat that you do or, uh, at the moment of speaking or when you say at the moment of speaking. I will have a foundation um, to rescue animals, okay? Thank you, Reina. All right. Okay, let's move on to the uh, warm-up uh, activity. Show and tell. Choose a valuable item for you, okay? You're going to choose a valuable item. It could be any item at home, at your room, or anything. And you are going to show it to your classmates, and you are going to talk about it. Uh, this activity will take place on small breakout rooms. For example, okay, let me give you an example. Okay, for example, uh, you're going to choose something that is very valuable for you. Can you see what I have here? Okay, let me see. Can you see? Can you see what I have? Yes. Yes? Yes? Yes. So, uh, so imagine, just imagine that this is what I have. Okay, uh, this is my daughter's name. So I will choose, uh, and then I can talk about this. Okay? And then I can say why this is special for me. 
Um, what is it? When do I use it? If there is something that you wear on or, or anything, uh, that's going to be show and tell. Okay, is that clear? Yes? Okay, show and tell. Choose an item. It could be your cell phone. It could be, I don't know, maybe uh, your GoPro camera, if you have a GoPro camera or anything. Oh, you water water? Yes, it could be anything. So you got to go and look and you say, and then by the time you speak, you say, okay, I'm going to show you my, and then you explain, okay? And then you can say, I use it when I go running. I use it when I go bicycling. I use it when I go skydiving, okay? So, all right. Are you ready? Estamos listos? Usted le está tirando lente para venga acá. <laughs> Estamos listos? Yes. 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 I'm okay. Lo voy a mandar a, a un small room. Eh, tenemos poca gente hoy. Pues voy a mandar small breakout mm -hmm. rooms. I hope and discuss everyone... about the, the, the most valuable things uh, yes. for us. Yes. Or, you or maybe well. not the most valuable thing, but something that you have that is special for you. Puede I ser mean. una gorra, puede ser, I don't know, un machete si tienen por ahí, a machiri, <laughs> or anything like that. Okay? Okay, I'm going to send, you're going to, please, I will encourage you, everyone, to speak. Please, speak and share why. Whoa, that's fancy, Borja. Huh. It's okay. a bottle of wine. A tequila bottle. I know, I but know. It's, it's a, a decoration. <laughs> it's a decoration. Ornament. Okay, let me see. I'm going to have three, four participants. Okay. I'll see you in the breakout rooms. Reina, how are you? Hi. Who's going to start? Uh, Reina, tell us about your special thing. What? Do you have some special things? Tell us about your special things. Valuable. Things valuable for me is the cell phone. Because my wife uh, buy me in or an anniversary, anniversary, yeah. For such reason, it's valuable for me, my cell phone. And I, and I, and I love my cell phone. Yeah, only that. And you, Joanna? Okay. No estoy muy clara, pero creo que, 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 que podemos hablar de cualquier cosa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Um, uh, this is uh, my computer. Yeah. Uh, this is a computer for my husband. Uh, uh, what is your valuable thing or like? The most important thing in your life. My family. Or, yes, yeah. yeah. Are you sick or small? Sorry? Are you sick? No, Do I have a sleep. Any, Do you have any illness for I today? Have I have a sleep. Ah, uh, you tired. Mm. Yeah, this is a light. Um, very, said, very clever. I say I put it in the bottle and I can use like a lamp. I don't have other bottle wine like this. This is special because uh, I like it. I love yeah. it, my bottle of water. Nice idea. I like it. Yeah, it's my lamp. Okay. What about you, Eric? It's beautiful. Thanks. Well, I'm going to make up. <laughs> I have my account band. Information about band. Information about uh, all my family. And
Okay, um, how was your conversation, Eneida? Um, Oscar says that it's available special thing for he for is him? a bike, oh. is his bike, because okay. his bike is using for the transportation for another, another places. Oh, in good. In case, I am sorry, but in, I don't show my, my available special thing is the face mask, uh, is the chain mask, because my daughter uh, made it for me. Oh, okay, okay good. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay, good. good. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm sorry if I cut you off while you were speaking and talking about your valuable thing, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm we sorry were, if you were like, <laughs> You were very excited and you were like, oh my gosh, it's my turn. You finally made it to your turn. And then boop, you had to come back. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. so scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome, Osmel. Um, I guess Osmel was kind of sleepy, right, Osmel? Hi, teacher. <laughs> welcome, Cristobal, as well. Welcome. Okay. Um, okay. Who wants to share about the valuable thing? <laughs> Eric. Thank you, Eric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make up. Okay. Okay. Well, my special thing this is the this is my my glass. Why? Because when I received my first salary, I bought I bought it. Mm, yeah. Interesting. That's why it's very very special for me. And well, as you can see. I use my, my glass to drink water, to drink milk, and something like this. Other other yeah. beverage, in this case, just water and, and milk. That's why it's very special for me. And all that I need to drink, I use my, my, my glass. Glass, okay, good, thank you. One more volunteer, one more volunteer. <laughs> Coach, uh, one question before that, uh, all the volunteer, Eric use uh, the phrase of verb makeup uh, like uh, may make makeup make up it or something no like no that. well or yes, make it uh, up but in the context basically um in the context tells you that it's not talking about the makeup the context basically is telling you that it's not talking about the makeup it's, yeah it's telling like i'm going to make up that means and um, okay great See? idea Aha, uh -huh. you are going to invent. You are yeah, going yeah, to, yeah. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but he said make up it, but you can say make it up. Too. Yeah, you can say make it up or I'm, make it, I'm going to make it up. Oh, yeah, it depends oh, yeah. because you can say I'm going to make up the story or I'm going to make it up, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's mm -hmm. the worst thing. That okay, was thank awesome. you. Uh, one more volunteer. Mm -hmm. I saw you were a <laughs> Walter. <laughs> What? Walter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The thing uh, valuable for me is uh, my cell phone because my wife uh, gave me in our anniversary. Uh, anniversary. Yeah. So also uh, it's valuable for me because uh, I have a lot of information in my cell phone. Also, okay. or uh, bank information such as a uh, uh, credit card, debit card. It's easy for me to use my cell phone because I can pay some bills or can or can buy something using my cell phone. It's easy for such reason. It's very valuable for me. Well, oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Don't don't say anything, okay? Especially to Abarca. Don't tell him the, don't tell him anything. All right. Okay. So uh, do they have another volunteer or do I go? Or should I go, or should I go to okay, Carla? Um my thing is the smart my smartwatch because it is very useful for me in my uh, exercise routine. Uh, also, uh, it uh, records my my calories. I set reminder and alarms, and I can find I can find my cell phone when I lose it. That's <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
Good, thank you. Um, if there is no other volunteer, I'm going to share my screen. No other volunteer? No? No uh, more? No more, okay, that's good, no worries. Okay, um, let me see, there is something in the chat. Oh, Carla says, uh, is his case, because uh, he, uh, he has too many markers, watercolors, stick glue, because I make lettering and I paint little seeker, seekers or stickers probably for his books. Okay, good. Good. Talk, good. talk, don't. Sure. Right. Because that's yes. correct. What? Not right. Well, it's informal English, but you can say cause. Cause means. C U Z. Yeah. yeah. That's the short, uh, that's the formal way to say because, but if you want to be kind of, um, I would say I only, like, I only heard uh, us. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can say that one too. Cause and cause, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But as I said, that is uh, what we say, we use that one for informal conversations and informal, uh, formal, informal meetings or informal texting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, but. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to say cause if you are texting your boss or texting your, I don't know, people who is older than you. But uh, mm -hmm. if you are friends, if you are texting your family, texting your co-workers, yes, you can say, hey, cause you know what? I'm not going to school. I'm not going to work today because uh, cause, see, because I'm sick. See? All right. Okay, good. All right. So let's continue. Today, as I mentioned before, uh, today we are going to talk about future with simple present and present continuous. Okay, let me ask you before, okay, let me show you something. It's very important, as you know, uh, through this module, we have been talking about expressions of times, how important they are and how we can use them, right? For example, if we are expressing the simple past, definitely we need to use what? Uh, time expressions, such as yesterday, last week, last month, last year, a little while ago, and so on, right? Or if you are using the present, you can say today, this week, this month, this year, at the moment, now, at this time, nowadays, these days, right now, and as we speak. But how about the future, the same? We have time expressions for the future, such as tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, in an hour, soon in the near future, later this evening, in the future, way off in the future, the day after tomorrow, and eventually. See, so those are some time expressions that we can use uh, every time we are referring to the future, all right? Why is very important that you know all the future time expressions? Yes? Anyone there? No? No comment? What? No? No comment. Okay, good. Okay. So we can express, as you know, on Monday, we worked with the going to, remember, I'm going to. Uh, yesterday, we worked with will. And today, we are going to work with the simple present and present continuous to express a future meaning. So when do we use the simple present? And Ada, can you read the letter A for me, please? And I done. Okay, I guess in Ada it's not available. Uh, what about? Uh, let me see. Um, let me see. Let me see. Oscar, what about? Can you read A? Okay. Mm -hmm. We use the present simple when we are talking about timetables, programmers, etc. For example, for public transport, cinemas. Okay, good, thank you. So when do we use okay. the present simple or simple present? 
We use the present simple or simple present when we are talking about timetables, programs, etc. For example, for public transport and cinema. Look at this one. What time does the field begin? The train, that's a question, right? The train leaves Plymouth at 10.30 and arrives in London at 13.45. Uh, the football match starts at 8 o'clock. Ok, in here, si ustedes pueden ver, la oración está en simple present. ¿Qué es lo que lo hace futuro? The time, ¿sí? The time, ¿sí? The time makes that sentence future. That means, uh, let's say today or right now, let's say right now it's nine o'clock. So the train leaves Plymouth at 10.30. PM, okay? And arrives in London at 13.45. The football match starts at 8 o'clock. So, cuando ustedes utilizan una fecha o una time expression, la time expression, in this case, future time expression, hace que la oración se convierta en futuro. Okay? But let me tell you that that is not very, uh, people don't really use it. They mostly use will and going to. All right, and look at this one. Tomorrow is Wednesday. That is future, right? Future. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. Yep. I understand. Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... paying attention because it seemed a little bit complicated. I uh, no, it's not complicated. The thing is that. It's not very, uh, people don't really use it. That's why it's kind of, what, really? I didn't know, that is confusing. Yeah, yeah. and it's because people don't use it. It's, uh, like, personally, in my case, I don't really use it. Instead, I said, I said, uh, uh, the match will start or the match is going to start, okay? I well, say- and, and Coach, in this, in this case, uh, you can express uh, the future with the present simple, just add the hours of no hour no time. no well let me give you i'm going to give you some other example okay wait up a moment and then i'm going to show you some other example not only with time okay just give me a moment okay i'm going to show you more examples this is the first example all right um okay but we don't normally use the present simple for personal arrangement for example what time are you meeting and no what time do you meet Okay, um, let me clear this up. Okay, here we go. When do we use also, when else do we use um, the present simple or simple present? We use the present simple with future events at a specific time. So uh, Wilmer, your question, okay. Your question can be asked in here. Okay, can, we, can be answered here. We use the present perfect with, with timetables or schedule. schedules, okay? That's why, por eso usted va a ver que todos dicen hora, ¿verdad? No es que realmente sea una hora, sino que son timetables. ¿Qué son timetables? ¿Alguien me puede ayudar? ¿Qué, qué es un timetable? Horarios. Horarios. Ok, no horas en específicas, sino que son horarios establecidos, ¿ok? Ok. Or horarios, okay? Timetable. Like a schedule or is different um, definition? No, uh, for example, a timetable could be when you go to the airport, for example, you see the timetable. In the timetable, you see uh, what time one uh, airplane arrives and lands mm -hmm. or take off. And the schedule, for example, at eight o'clock, you need to be at work. Uh -huh. so, yeah. yeah, okay. okay. So you. the plane takes land at 11.40. We leave to any work at nine. Okay, that could be in a schedule or that can be in a timetable. Okay. Um, however, however, we can use um, the present continuous for arrangement. What is arrangement? How, how do you translate arrangement? Disposition. Disposition. Arreglos. Arreglos, convenios, etc. Okay. Ordenar. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, arrangement. Planned actions at a specific time 
your intention or plan has been arranged. For example, I'm meeting my friends at seven. See, ve? I'm meeting my friends at seven. We are having a birthday party. Si ven esta oración acá, we are having, esta oración, we are having a birthday party. There is missing something in here. Podría ser que en el momento, hey, Walter, maybe let's imagine that Walter gives me a phone call and I'm like, hey, where are you, Pedro? Where are you? And say, hey, you know what? We're having a birthday party. That could be that the birthday party is happening right now because in there, I don't really specify the time expression for the future, right? Or it could be, you know what? We are having a birthday party in an hour, in an hour, or later at nine or at 9.30, see? That's why it's muy importante que ustedes manejen a time expression for future. Because the time expression for future is going to help you to have so that the sentences cannot be uh, confusing. Porque si no le agregan el time expression, se puede convertir un poco, um, ¿qué? Un poco no muy um, entendible, puede ser muy confuso. ¿Ok? Arrangement. Ok, arrangement. Don't forget that word, arrangement. Okay, see, I have more information about present, simple present, and present continue. When do I use present continuous for arrangements and plan? For example, we are getting married in Spain on July the 24th. See, you already have a plan. See, that's why you are saying we are getting married. Usted me puede decir, but teacher, can I say we are going to get married in Spain on July 24th? Sure, you can say it that, okay? You can say it, okay? The most important thing in there is that your sentence has sense, okay? Look at the other one. I'm having coffee with my boss. Y era lo que yo les decía ya ratito, miren. Si no le agregáramos esta tomorrow, por ejemplo, por ejemplo en esta oración, if we didn't add tomorrow, it, look, it would look like if you're having coffee with your boss right now. Pero, como ustedes colocaron, yeah, tomorrow, oh, that means that it's going okay. to be tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, time expressions are very, very important when you are expressing the future with present continuous. Okay? All right? Let's continue with the other one. See? I'm meeting my accountant tomorrow at 9 a.m. They are flying to Australia tomorrow. Okay, how about, pre um, yeah. how about the present or simple present? We can use the present simple with timetables. For example, bus timetable, train timetable, movie timetable, flight timetables. And also we can use at the present simple with schedule or or repeated events. This is something new. Con eventos que son repetitivos. For example, it's my birthday tomorrow. Si ¿Sí ven, se está utilizando se está utilizando el presente simple. It is my birthday. Si no le agregaran tomorrow, se sonaría como que si hoy es su cumpleaños. ¿Ok? Y miren, aquí están utilizando el qué? El presente simple. 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 Mm -hmm. It is my birthday. Pero, since you are including the time expression tomorrow, you say, oh, estoy utilizando the simple present and a time expression for future events. Okay? Look at the other, the, look at the other example. It is Christmas next week. Si ven, aquí están utilizando de nuevo el simple present. It is Christmas next week. See? ¿Sí? It's Christmas next week. Okay, the other one. I have, see? ¿sí? Este es presente simple, see? ¿sí? I have a German class. ¿Cuándo? 
Next, Next week. week. Ok, sí. Sí. Si, si pueden ver acá, esto es presente simple. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Presente simple, pero lo que lo hace futuro no es el presente simple, sino que es la expression of time, time yeah. expression o expression. Time expression. Of expression. Yes, ok. That's yeah. why tiene que, miren, um, déjame ver. Ok, the next one. He has a job interview in a fortnight. ¿Qué es fortnight? No el game, ¿verdad? No el game. What is fortnight? ¿Ah? Quincena. Quincena, yes. He has a job interview in a fortnight. ¿Ok? Estamos claros ahorita con uh, present continuous and, and, and simple present. Are we clear with that? Yes, teacher. Ok, good. So, ahora va a ser como tiempo de practicar. Time to practice. With the present continuous with future meaning. What are you doing after school? Ok. Solo imagínense si, si el niño preguntara uh, the following question. Sin esto. Ok. Mm -hmm. Look. Si preguntara, hey, what are you doing? Oh, ¿qué le, ¿qué le contestaría el niño? What do you think? Si le preguntara, hey, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Night walking. I'm walking, oh, yes. Uh -huh. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm walking. I'm happy. I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking about my homework. I'm, I'm hungry or I'm thinking about my food. I don't know. ¿sí? Pero, look, pero como le agregó after school, oh, eso lo hace a futuro, right? After school. Look, I'm buying tickets for Saturday's match. So we use the present continuous to talk about fixed arrangements in the near future, all right? Let's continue. Mari, I'm flying to London. See, I'm flying to London See, tomorrow. Si no le agregara tomorrow, that would mean that right now she's flying to flying. London. London. But since she has added tomorrow, that makes us what? That makes us... Um, future. Mm -hmm. So, and simply, simply what we need is this. We need the subject, I, she, he, we, they, and whatever. And then we need the verb to be. For example, I am, he is, she is, we are, etc. And then the ing verb, okay? Like flying, eating, speaking, dreaming, dancing, eating, I don't know, dreaming, etc. Can I say, can I say, um, I'm going to be flying tomorrow? Well, in that case, um, you are using the going to. You are not using the present continuous. Okay? Look, at, look in the chat what I'm going to type right now. I'm going to London tomorrow. I'm going to be, okay, I'm going to be in London tomorrow. See? Las dos oraciones, uh, my, it might sound similar, but they, uh, the structure is different. In the first one, I'm going to London. Si ven, ahí está utilizando, okay, el present continuous. I'm going to London tomorrow. En el otro, I'm going to be in London tomorrow. Ahí está utilizando el qué? Going to. For future. Okay? Is that clear, Wilmer? Yeah, clear. Okay, good. Uh, do you have any, anyone else? Uh, Marta, do you have any question? No. All okay. clear. Okay, good, good. All right, so remember, if you have any questions, you can stop me, I can, and then I can, we, I can continue with that later. Uh, let me see in the chat, I'm going to London tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to London, see, and that is present continuous. Okay. If you are asking questions with the present continuous, it's the same thing. Is she flying to London tomorrow? Okay. The same thing, see, ¿sí? lo mismo. 
si no le agregara tomorrow, me, es como que me estén preguntando si ahorita ella está volando. ¿Is she flying to London? Yo diría, yes, she is, or no, she's not. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, good. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, and that's the structure. I guess I'm not going to take a lot of time because we, I mean, you have worked, uh, worked with the present continuous before. So I'm not going to um, stay a lot. I'm not going to take a lot of time explaining. Probably something new to the expression that you already knew is la time expression. Eso es lo nuevo que podríamos agregarle. Podría ser, I am traveling next week. I am traveling next month. I am traveling next year. I am traveling in an hour. I am traveling in the near future, etc. See? This is probably what's new in here. It's the time expression. Okay? Then the same with the negative. See? I am not traveling tomorrow. I am not traveling next week, etc. Okay, is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. okay, good. Okay. I guess this is not a, that, this is not a confusing uh, topic, I think. And for that reason, we are going to uh, work very quickly uh, with the numbers, that, the exercises that I have here, all right? So let me give you uh, who is going to say, who is going to do what? Uh, and what we're going to do is fill in the blanks below to complete the sentences. Use the words about boxes. For example, I have have and lunch. Sam is having lunch at the cafeteria tomorrow. Okay, voy a darle los números para que ustedes me hagan los ejercicios. Uh, Wilmer, number two. Reina, number three. Uh, Eric, number four. Eneida, number five. Marta, number six. Joanna, number seven. Samuel, number eight. Uh, Carla, number nine. Oscar, number ten. Carlos, number eleven. And Cristobal, number 12. Uh, I'm sorry, Maria, I don't have another one. That's why I don't give you one right now. Okay, Maria? Mm -hmm. Maria, is that, is that, is that, is that right? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Vaya, vamos a ver. Uh, number two, uh, Wilmer. I guess you're number two, right, Wilmer? Or who is number two? Yeah. Okay, so uh, tell me. Are you flying to Dubai next week? Yes, I am. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, number three. Teacher, a question. Mm -hmm. And a number two could be, do you fly to Dubai next week? No. Mm, okay, ¿cuándo utilizamos eh, el, el simple present para futuro? ¿Cuándo? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Cuándo lo utilizamos? Cuando tenemos Perfect. un timetable. When, when the, when the... Uh, when you have when you have a time expression for the future yes uh, yes that could be and also when we have a timetable or when we have a schedule okay yeah when schedule have, yeah like a bus when, also when we have a, a time expression yeah that's yeah okay. yeah good yeah so I got it number three so who 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 is number three mm -hmm. Mr. Perkins Giving her student a uh, testing a few days. Good. Number four. Harry, the train leaving in 10 minutes. Harry, the train leaving. Mm, ¿Qué le hace falta eso? Recuerden que siempre necesitamos el verbo to be. Ah, oh, ok. Harry, the train is leaving in 10 minutes. Yeah, the train leaving. is leaving. Good. Ok, number okay. five. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, uh, number three, Mr. Perkin giving her student. Giving. Giving. Ah, okay, Is vamos atrás. Miren, ¿qué es lo que necesitamos? Okay, vamos atrás. Si ustedes ven, uh, tenemos el que subject. Okay. 
Pero we need the auxiliary verb. ¿Ok? Y después necesitamos el verbo en ing. ¿Ok? So, en la oración, en la oración siguiente, uh, let me see. Okay. En la oración siguiente, look, um, I'm sorry, let me clear that, clear that. Okay, so that would be, is what? Is given. Is what Okay, it's given, I'm sorry, uh, since I'm using the, the mouse, the mouse that the computer has, that's why I have a terrible handwriting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mrs. Birkin is giving her student a test in a few uh, days. Okay, okay, okay. Um, number four, Abarca, it was you? Yeah. Okay, can Harry. you say it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Harry, the train is leaving in 10 minutes. Good, thank you. Number five. Number five, I am yeah. getting up very early tomorrow morning at five o'clock. Good, number six. Is John coming to the party? No, he's not. Oh, good. That's a good example. That is a question. That's why she's using uh, is John coming, okay? Number seven. Number seven. Who has oh, number seven? But in the number five, uh, we have uh, timetables. Yeah. In this mm -hmm. case, can you use uh, the present continuous or the simple present? Oh. So you had two choices over there. So if you see, they give you Both. a time and also they give you a time expression. So in that case, and also, um, yes, yes, Borja, you can use both. However, in this example, since the exercise says uh, to use the present continue, that's why we are using only the present continue. But if you, uh, let's say a general question, uh, I mean a general sentence, if they'll tell you choose either simple present or present continuous, you can use both. But in this case, since we are using only present continuous, uh, we can use uh, the present continuous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you for your observation. Uh, ¿Dónde nos quedamos? En el número 7, right? Okay, okay. Me, teacher, yes, okay, okay. Uh, uh, seven sentences. I am going to shopping mall this weekend. Okay, good. Number eight. Number eight. Hello. Hey, Walter, ¿qué? Habla. No. I guess it was Carlos. Okay. Carlos? Can I help? Tiene atravesado el pollo campero, Carlos. Okay. Uh, uh, somebody for number eight? Me, I mean, teacher. Number seven. Uh, I'm sorry, number seven. Who can help me? Number eight? Number seven, I'm sorry. Or was it number eight? Number eight. Oh, okay. Number so, eight. So. Okay, number eight. Could be, no, we are going. No. No, we aren't. No, yeah. We aren't. Aha, yeah. okay. <laughs> After that. After that. Okay, no, we aren't <laughs> going out on Friday. We aren't staying home. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. number nine. What about number nine? <laughs> Has, okay, yes. Tomorrow is Saturday. Mm -hmm. They're sleeping late. What? I'm sorry. Uh, yes, you're right. Tomorrow is Saturday. I am sleeping, sleeping late. 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 Okay, good. Number 10. I'm having play football tomorrow afternoon at 2.30. Okay, good, good. Number 11. Who, who is number 11? Can you have number 11? Who can help me for number 11? Carlos. 
Oh, okay, Carlos, go ahead, Carlos. Ali, turn off the TV. We are eating dinner soon. Good, we are, we are eating dinner We're soon. Okay, good. And number 12. Me. Okay. No, we are not having a meeting today. It's at three o'clock tomorrow. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, we are about to conclude. And for that, uh, we have a couple of minutes to go. And because of the time, we are not going to do one activity that I suppose that I was working with you today. But uh, I would like you to type sentences using present continuous of answering the question, what are you going to do or what are you doing tomorrow? The question is, what are you doing tomorrow? Okay, type three sentences about what you are doing tomorrow. Okay, in the chat. What are you doing tomorrow? In my case, uh, okay, I'm going to type in the chat. Okay, I'm working from 7.30 to 5.30 p.m. Okay, I'm getting up very early. Mm -hmm. Good, what else? I'm having breakfast at 7, 7 tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm working tomorrow. What else? Think about the whole day. Maybe you have a meeting. Maybe you are seeing a customer. Maybe you are calling your mom or calling your friends. I don't know. Maybe you are cooking tomorrow chicken. I don't know. Think about it, please. Okay. I'm going to play soccer tomorrow. You're driving the car tomorrow. Okay. I am meeting at 1030 with my friends tomorrow. Okay. I am working tomorrow. I'm having work early tomorrow. I'm working in, morning. in the morning. I am making my homework in the afternoon. I am going to run at seven. I am taking a shower tomorrow. Okay, definitely everyone is taking a shower tomorrow. I hope. Mm -hmm. I am traveling to San Miguel City. Really, Joanna? Mm -hmm. Or is that an example? Thank you. Oh, that's an example or is that true? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, no, that's not good. My boss is having a meeting at 10 30. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Okay, what else? Okay, so now we have five minutes to go. Thank you. Lo voy a poner en pareja, and then you are going to talk. Now you are going to talk. Okay, you are going to talk and say the same. The question is, what are you doing tomorrow? Van a tener un minuto o dos minutos to talk. No more, and then we come back, okay? So the question is, what are you doing tomorrow? Así que lo voy a poner en pareja, um, two and two. Uh, let me see, okay. Okay. Okay, Walter. Okay, Walter, I'm going to send you to Eneida and Osma. Okay. Okay. I remember you. Okay, the question uh, is, Yeah. what are you doing tomorrow? Yep, well, tomorrow I'm having to, to work early. And then, well, I think I will travel, travel to, to a town, to a town 
every day I have to do uh, almost the same. And tomorrow I'm doing, I mean, I'm preparing report about account banks. I have to feel, I'm feeling uh, some uh, forms to send in. In the night, in the night, I'm joining to the class. Okay. Okay, nice. Yes. Next year or something like that. For example, mm -hmm. I'm watching TV uh, for become this synthesis in future. Uh, I just add um, tomorrow, for example. I'm watching TV tomorrow. Yeah. That means that like, mm -hmm. I'm viendo television mañana. Easy. Hey, teacher. Hey, what happened? My classmate, Cristobal Molina. Okay. Cristobal had a problem. Yeah, oh. have a pro have problems. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm going to close all the rooms because everyone is, uh, needs to be back. Mm -hmm. Okay, no worry. Okay. Okay, uh, so you were talking to Cristobal? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay, nice. Um, Hopefully, uh, they're going to come uh, later. I guess we are in the breakout room. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oscar is back. Marta as well. Mm -hmm. Who else? Who else? Okay. Maybe Marta and Oscar were working together, I think. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, could be give me an advice to improve my speaking skill. So practice. That's the best. Uh, the best. Yeah, practice and practice, practice and practice. With who? In oh. front of me? Oh no, no. Um, we meet uh, some uh, some people when talking. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah. For example, like here, when you had the time, when you have the uh, the practice time, uh, you can enjoy it the most and take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I enjoy to watch uh, some series in English, not subtitles. Oh, that's good. That's good too. But the thing is, uh, you don't want to uh, improve your reading or listening because the thing is, when you yeah. are watching TV in English, you are improving your listening. Yeah. What you yeah. need to work more on is on speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So um, thank you for um, pr practicing your English. So I could see that you were working and teaching and, and helping and helping your classmates, talking about what you're doing tomorrow. So Thank you so much uh, for participating today, and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, take care. Okay, okay. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you.